So today I'm talking about a P2197 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2197 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor signal biased stuck lean bank two sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, they're sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And when you get a P2197 code, the computer's seeing a problem inside of one of these, mainly that bank two sensor one oxygen sensor. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, then that's going to be bank one. And then just the opposite of that would be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is the side that the computer's seen a problem with. And each bank of the engine is going to have two O2 sensors, one located before the catalytic converter and then one located after it and sometimes right on it. But the sensor that's reporting this problem to the computer is going to be this bank two sensor one oxygen sensor. And when there's a lean condition, it basically means that more air than should be is going into the cylinders and that basically the air fuel ratio mixture is off. And so if that is the problem, if there is a lean condition, then that can sometimes be hard to troubleshoot because it could be caused by so many different things. And so for this reason, if you're getting other codes like a MAP sensor code or a fuel injector code or something like that, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. And so what are some possible causes of a P2197 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor, mainly, again, that bank 2 sensor 1 O2 sensor. Also keep in mind that the wiring going to the sensor, if there's any problem there, like an open or a short, something like that, then that's going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. If you have an OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, however your scan tool is laid out, then you can go and find the bank 1 sensor 2 O2 sensor. You could start up the engine, let the engine warm up for like five, 10 minutes and just check to see how it's reading. And a good sensor is gonna drop down to like 0.001. It's all the way up to like 0.09 volts and then come back down inside of a steady pattern like this. But if it doesn't do this and it's just flat and just going across inside of a flat line, then you know there's a problem with that sensor. If you don't have a scan tool, you can also use a multimeter to test these sensors. I made a video on this. If you need to check that out, I'll put a link down below. But the first thing that could cause this is that there's a bad O2 sensor or there's a problem inside the wiring. And the next thing that could cause this is an exhaust leak. And basically, if outside air is getting into the exhaust, then it could throw these sensors off. So you can go around and just examine your exhaust and be sure that it looks like it's good and that it's not leaking or anything like this. Because if there is an exhaust leak, then it could throw these sensors off and that's going to cause issues. And the next thing that could cause this problem is that there's some kind of intake air leak or vacuum leak going on. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through the throttle body. And if it's not, if somehow the air is going around the throttle body, then that could throw off all these sensors and just cause issues. And this would be something like a bad hose going into the engine or a bad gasket or something like that. But the next thing that could cause this is an intake air leak. And the last thing on the list is that there is some kind of lean running condition on bank two side of the engine. And so this would be something like a bad mass airflow sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor, a bad injector. The fuel pump might be weak. There might be a clogged fuel filter or something like that. If you do have a lean running condition, like I said before, it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. There's a lot of good YouTube videos on how you go about doing that. And this is the reason why I was saying be sure to pay attention to any other codes. Because say, for example, you got a mass airflow sensor and it's just throwing everything off, then you should get a code for a bad mass airflow sensor. But the last thing on the list is that there is some kind of lean running condition going on on bank two side of the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2197 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.